is a My Froggy Stuff mashup. We have put together all of our favorite Strawberry Shortcake custom dolls into one video! From Strawberry Shortcake to Lemon Meringue, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. We are going to transform Ever After High's Ashlyn Ella into our version of Strawberry Shortcake. She already has green eyes, so there's no need for a repaint. However, we will need new hair and clothes. So first, she's going to need a little haircut. Using tweezers to remove the glue from the inside. We purchased our hair from dollyhair.com. They also sell a rerouting tool that was currently priced at $14. In our previous reroutes, we used a tool that we made in our Rainbow Dash tutorial using an X-Acto knife. On the website, there are many different types of hair, but we chose to go with a nylon hair, one called Sugarberry and the other Candy Apple. I take a little of both colors, pick a spot, place the hair next to the hole, and with the long side of the needle on top, I just drag a small amount over and then push it all the way in, then continue onto the next one. Apply fabric glue to the inside of the head and allow it to dry. To make the clothes, I will be using a t-shirt, a thin blue jean or cotton material, ribbon, hook and eyes, craft paint, and a needle and thread. Using some ideas from our doll Christmas sweater video, I take some t-shirt material, fold it over the doll's torso for size, add a little extra for seam allowance, then cut out two squares. Cut off the top corners, Measure and cut a piece of material that can fit around the doll's arm. With the fold facing up, I cut it at the same angle as the top of the shirt. Lay out the pieces so the good side is facing down. I begin sewing them together on the angled lines. Starting with one side at a time, I match up my corners, then pick up the material so the good side is facing good side. Using a needle and thread, I begin an in and out stitch. Cut small strips of fabric, fold them in half, Line the edges on the right side of the fabric, then sew them on using a straight stitch. Continue on all the raw edges. When it is time to do the neck, I make a small slit at the top before continuing. Then I like to backtrack over all my edges by going in and over. Sew a hook and eye on the back of the collar, place it on the doll inside out, use pins to fit it to the doll's form, then sew down the sides, removing the pins as I go. Remove the shirt, then trim off the excess. Turn it right side out. Slide a small piece of paperboard into the shirt. I make a design using craft paint, then allow it to dry. Cut a rectangle of fabric that when folded can fit around the doll's leg with a little extra for a seam allowance. Fold it in half. On the side opposite of the fold, I cut a J shape. Cut two, lay them good side to good side. Stitch them together on one curve. Open it, fold and hem the top, or I can add a folded strip of fabric like we did with the shirt. I chose to add two small pleats in the front by folding the fabric over. I roll up the bottom and iron flat, fold it over, sewing a small section of the lower curve. Then I open and match up the ends, then sew straight across. Add a hook and eye to the back, sew eyes onto the top of the shorts, Cut two pieces of ribbon, sew hooks on one end, loop the hook through the eye, crisscross the ribbon in the back, and sew onto the shorts. To make a pair of suspenders, we make a hat using our doll felt hat video, add a strawberry shaped button, we made a small bow, took another small piece of ribbon, and wrapped it around and glued it over a rubber band, glued a button on top, then placed it on a littlest pet shop to make her cat custard. So now, we would like to introduce our custom doll, Strawberry Ella. And you're done. Happy customizing! We are going to transform Ever After High's Blondie Locks 
into our interpretation of lemon meringue from Strawberry Shortcake. This doll already has a lemon yellow hair. However, we just love the hair texture from dollyhair.com, so we are going to continue with the reroute. So we cut off the hair, gently remove the head, use tweezers to remove the glue and hair from the head, then place a few strands of hair over the holes, then use a rerouting tool to push the hair through the holes. Gently pull away the excess hair, then lay it back down to start the next one. And we have tips on how to make a homemade rerouting tool in our custom Rainbow Dash video. Once all of the hair has been added, apply fabric glue underneath and allow it to dry. To make her clothes, I'm using some leftover blue jean material. Cut a rectangle that can fit around the doll's hips with a little extra for a seam allowance. Using a tan colored thread, sew a line down the middle, then a small curve at the top, place it on the doll, then using chalk, I mark her sides. Sew on the lines drawn, then sew curves to look like pockets. Sew a line straight across the bottom with the good side facing down, place a piece of elastic at the top, fold the fabric over, then sew a straight line making sure not to touch the elastic. Then grab both ends of the elastic in one hand and gather the material with the other. Sew a few stitches to hold the elastic in place, try it on the doll, then pinch the material and use chalk to sketch a line Sew on the line drawn, trim off the excess, flip it right side out, use a nail file to distress the front to make a jean skirt. Sew together layers of lace, wrap the lace around the doll's chest, sew snaps onto the ends, place it on the doll inside out, and sew on ribbon for straps to make a top. We make a jacket using our doll lab coat video. I made a very small semicircle for the neck, flipped the fabric over the edge, folded in half, cut it to the desired length, turn the bottom inside out, and round off the corner by sewing a curve. Trim off the excess, then turn it right side out, hem a small portion of the side, then fold it in half, use pins to hold it in place, sew a line under the arms and down the side, Try it on the doll and make adjustments where needed. Trim off the excess, turn it right side out, hem the bottom, tie a piece of ribbon around the waist for a belt. String beads on a thread, tie the end to make a necklace. Reattach the head, style her hair, and you're done. Happy customizing. We are going to transform Ever After High's Cedar Wood into Orange Blossom from Strawberry Shortcake. Using a Q-tip and nail polish remover, I gently remove her lipstick. Even though her hair is already brown, we are going to go ahead and reroute it so that it matches the other dolls in our custom collection. So we remove the hair. To reroute the doll's hair, we are using nylon hair from dollyhair.com. I will need to use a rerouting tool, one that can be purchased at dollyhair.com or one that we made from our Rainbow Dash tutorial. Then I plan where I want the hair to go, place a few strands beside it, then grab it and push it in. Continuing until the head is completely done, add a little fabric glue to the inside, use a Q-tip to spread it around, then trim the ends. I mix water, craft paint, and a water-based sealant with a gloss finish and gently brush it on her lips for lip gloss. Since Cedarwood's body has a wood grain finish, we decided to replace it with Monster High's Claudine. I cut two long rectangles of fabric that can fit around the doll's legs. With the material folded in half, cut a J shape out of the top, repeat for the other side, lay them flat with the good side facing down, match up the J shapes, sew them together, hem the bottom cuffs, size it to the doll to hem the top, add a piece of elastic before folding it over to sew it down. Then I fold it so the good side is on the inside, match up my ends, 
So a line along the curve, stopping just before the elastic. Place them on the doll, then pull the elastic to a comfortable fit. Remove it from the doll and stitch the elastic in place. Trim off the excess, then lay the pants so the seam is on the inside, making two legs. Run a stitch from one end to the other. Try them on the doll, then make adjustments if needed. Trim off the excess. Finish the edges with a zigzag stitch. Turn them right side out. Use a nail file to make them look worn. Cut a rectangle of t-shirt material. Put two small holes where the doll's shoulders are. Place the arms through the holes. Cross it in front. Cut a strip of fabric that can fit around the doll's waist. Cut another piece that is a little longer. With good side to good side, line up the edges and sew a line straight across. Then flip it over and line up the edges so there's a little bit of a lip on the other side. Sew a straight line across, making sure the back is attached. Fold up and hem the bottom, then the sides. Sew on a long strip of ribbon, and I chose to stitch it only on the sides. Take a small piece of fabric and hem the top. With the hem side facing up, I sew it on the front, leaving the top open. Wrap and tie it around the doll's waist to make an apron with a pair of loose-fitted worn jeans. Add a flower crown from one of our previous videos, and you're done. Happy customizing! going to transform Ever After High's Cerise Hood into our version of Plum Pudding from Strawberry Shortcake. Using nylon hair we ordered from dollyhair.com, fabric, tights, craft paint, and a needle and thread. Her eyes are a lovely shade of gray, so I'm just going to add the smallest hint of purple using acrylic craft paint. We remove her hair so that we can do a reroute using this purple hair we found at dollyhair.com. To reroute, I take a small piece of hair and a rerouting tool. This one came from dollyhair.com. However, in our custom Rainbow Dash tutorial, we show how to make one at home. So I decide where I want the hair to go, and then I grab some of the hair with the hook side facing down and push it through the hole. Then I continue to do this until the whole head is done. Using the doll as a guide, I wrap and measure a piece of fabric around her leg. Cut two. On one end, I fold over the bottom edge and sew a straight line across to hem it. With the good side facing up, I fold it over, lining up the edges, cut a J shape out of the top, repeat for the other leg, lay them out with the good side facing down, match up the corners, sew along the J of one side. Turn it so the good side is facing up, cut a strip of fabric and fold it over, line up the raw edges with the top of the pants, sew a straight line across. Once sewn, flip it up, take this side over to meet the corner and sew along the J. Then open it so the legs are going out to the sides and sew a straight line from one end to the other. Try it on the doll for size, trim off the excess then flip it right side out to make a pair of yoga pants. Measure a piece of material around the torso of the doll, fold the bottom up and the top down, fold it in half so the good side is on the inside, sew a straight line across the raw edges. I chose to take it in a little around the waist, so when I flip it right side out, it has a contouring fit. Pinch and sew the center to make a sweetheart top. Cut a portion out of a pair of tights. Place the doll's arms through the opening to make a no-sew shrug. Pull the sides together at the front and stitch them together. Turn it over, stitch it in the back to make a top with sleeves. We can take the nylon tube and twist it to make a scarf or put on the doll feet first, then up and over the shoulders to make a wrapped shirt. We style her hair in a side ponytail 
and we think it is so fabsome that most of these fashion projects can be resized to fit almost any size doll. And you're done. Happy customizing! We are going to transform Ever After High's Madeline Hatter into Blueberry from Strawberry Shortcake using fabric, nylon hair from dollyhair.com, sew on snaps, lace, beads, felt, ribbon, a needle and thread, or a sewing machine, elastic, and fabric glue. To make her outfit, I cut a rectangle of fabric that is above the waist and below the knee. Cut another piece for the top and I make sure the fabric is just enough to pass the hips with a small seam allowance. With good side to good side, I line the fabric at the top edge, then sew a straight line all the way across using a needle and thread or a sewing machine. Fold over the top and measure it to the doll, making sure the seam is at her waist. With the edge still folded, place the good side facing down, place a piece of elastic under the fold, carefully sew a straight stitch all the way across, making sure not to hit the elastic. With the good side facing up, gather and sew a piece of lace down the middle. Then hem the bottom. Then with the good side facing up, fold it in half, lining up the edges, pull the elastic to gather the top, then sew a straight line all the way down, making sure to sew the elastic. Trim off the excess, then finish the edge with a zigzag stitch. Try it on the doll, then take in the lower end of the dress up to the hips by pinching the material and using a piece of chalk to draw the line. Sew on the line drawn, then trim off the excess. Flip it right side out and place it on the doll. Cut a rectangle of fabric that can fit around the doll's waist and overlap, fold it in half, sew a straight line all the way down, flip it inside out, sew the ends closed, sew on snaps, Sew beads to the center of the front to make a waistband that snaps in the back. Arrange the doll's clothes, and I'm making a small pleat in front, then place the waistband on top. Cut a strip of felt, match up the ends, and sew them together with a straight stitch, then open it up, line up the edges placing the seam in the center, sew the middle section together, leaving a space at both ends. Then flip it inside out, place it on the doll to make a cute little jacket. String beads onto thread to make a bracelet. To change the color of her hair, carefully remove her head. Using a blow dryer for a few seconds can help to soften the head to make it easier to remove. Cut away the hair, use tweezers to remove the remaining hair, reroute the hair, apply glue to the inside, reattach the head, Tie on ribbon for a headband to make our interpretation of Blueberry Muffin. And you're done. Happy customizing! I am going to transform Ever After High's Briar Beauty into our interpretation of Raspberry from Strawberry Shortcake. First, we remove her hair. We reroute the hair using hair from dollyhair.com. I am going to make some simple clothes using colored tights and a sewing machine. First, I cut a section out of the tights, turn them inside out, then sew a line to the contours of a doll's body. 
It may be helpful to sketch the line using the doll's body as a guide. Sew on the line drawn, trim off the excess, turn right side out, stretch the ends to make them curl to make a simple tube dress. Cut another section of the tights, place it over the doll, then pull, twist, and place it over the head to make a wrapped dress. Take a small rectangle of the tights, fold the sides in, fold it in half, sew a line across, trim off the excess, turn it inside out, place it on the doll for a waistband. We can try different colors, ribbon, even floral wire to make a very simple yet versatile dress. You can even rearrange the top to make sleeves. Use jump rings for bracelets. Use colored rubber bands from a rainbow loom for a headband. String beads onto a small piece of wire. Curl the ends, then bend the wire to contour to the doll's neck to create a simple fashion boutique look. Make a paper handbag from a previous video and you're done. Happy customizing. Thank you for joining us for this My Froggy Stuff mashup. Let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff and The Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye! My, 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 my And when the smoke is rising